Good afternoon, traders. It is Wednesday, July 1st, 2015, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but uh, <laughs> it was frustrating today, really frustrating. I called the Dow up today, and I was absolutely right. I mean, I called it hard up, and that's exactly what happened. Took up, took off uh, like a rocket ship, uh, well over 100 points here, right on the first 15-minute bar. And, uh, and this really helped us. Uh, we had uh, come in. I, I, I think with maybe $8,000 or so, I can't quite remember from yesterday, but anyway, we were up to $20,000 about five minutes into the day. And that, unfortunately, turned out to be the sweet spot. Uh, we didn't hold that uh, equity uh, at all. By the time we got out, we got out with $12,000 closed out trades. Well, still, can't complain about $12,000, but it was a, an $8,000 drop from where we were uh, shortly after the open. That was kind of the first disappointment of the day. And the second disappointment uh, took place of after we got out of all this stuff, you know, 45 minutes into the day we're out. We do add $12,000 in profits. Because we're up here, you know, we get into a whole bunch of stuff. We, we got in a total of nine positions, nine positions, and uh, eight of those are negative. I mean, <laughs> just nothing held at all. Everything went against us that we got into. So uh, after, you know, making $12,000 uh, on what we got out, we, we're holding we're getting close to $10,000 in negative open trade equity going into tomorrow, and we're not out of that yet. So, hey, that's not feeling like a profitable day to me. And uh, you can see here that after the Dow kind of peaked out here, it started to fall back and fall back, and it never went negative, never got anywhere close to negative, actually ended up closing up. 138 points, which is a pretty good move, but um, it, it, the whole day had a bad feeling to it. It just didn't feel good at all, uh, except at the end. And I, this has to do my I, my call for the Dow tomorrow is again up. I really think what happened was it came up here and all these short sellers, profit takers came in and started taking it down and everybody thought, and it's a long, and I thought so too, when it's down here, I just thought this was a big failure, you know, and, and the Dow was going to resume this uh, big slide that we've seen it in the last uh, three days or so, but something happened, comes in here, takes it up some, and I honestly think uh, the short sellers and profit takers started doing some second thinking. Now, <laughs> I, I talked about fundamentals and grease yesterday. I'll just hit on this briefly. Let me let me show you let me show you the trade first. That's that's probably the best way. Let me show you. Uh, this is Grec. Now, this stock reflects the insanity that we've seen in all our stocks in the last few days. Recall four days ago. This was Friday. We bought the high tick of the day of Grec and then got horribly injured on this drop. Uh, $9,000 loss on that. Just horrible. Just absolutely sickening. And particularly since we bought the high tick on Friday. That made it even worse. Grec continued to go down. This was all on this horrible news out of Greece. 
looked like Greece was going out of the U European Union, going to go in default, etc., etc., etc. Then yesterday it gaps up, and uh, we get another, we get a buy signal there. So we get long grec again. Not a good feeling about that, folks. But this morning, this thing explodes. The Prime Minister of Greece starts saying, hey, we'll talk, we'll negotiate, we can make concessions, and so on and so forth. And all of a sudden, it didn't look like Greece was going out of the European Union. So this thing jumps up. When it's up here, we're up over $6,000 on this trade. So it looks like Greg's going to maybe give us a little back here that it took over here. But our, <laughs> our system, you know, it's thinking, oh, we're going to stay long for another day. It stays in, and then after this thing sinks and sinks and sinks, it finally gets out, and we still get out of this with like $2,800, believe it or not. I mean, look at this huge drop. We went from 6000 to 2800 but we're still out of it with a good profit. Then it goes down some more, then it starts going up, and we get back into it. Now, that's a little bit insane, but it does keep going. We're holding about $600 there in grip. I saw this pattern kind of repeat itself in a lot of the stocks we trade. And for that reason, I'm saying that somewhere in the last hour of the trading day to day, there was kind of a change in sentiment. That's why I'm calling this thing up tomorrow. I think this whole thing could turn around and resume the, the, the kind of bullish attitude it had very early on in today, and we might get out of this mess okay. I don't know. We're holding nine losers or eight losers out of nine positions. That's going to take a lot of fixing to get better than that, but that's what we're facing. Uh, uh, we did have some good trades. I mean, we didn't get $12,000 in profits uh, on bad trades. This was the best one. This is at Baxis. And we had bought this yesterday, and it uh, gapped up this morning. I mean, <laughs> look at this big thing. We had, did not get out at the top, but where we did get out, we we still took over five thousand dollars out of it back. So it's a beautiful trade. Then it just fell apart. I mean, we look like like champs here, getting out here. When you look at this fall, this mirrored the Dow, but look. It also mirrored the Dow here. You got this buying coming in at the end, and I'm counting on that buying at the end uh, in all our stocks to, to help us out of this mess we're in. I will, I hate to show, I, I don't like to end with a bad trade, but uh, I'm going to anyway. This was the problem uh, that we had today with the stuff we got into. Uh, this is Shake Shack, and uh, <laughs> it's a new stock, and it's uh, just absolutely horrible. And I'm not going to call it Shake Shack anymore, I'm called Shit Shack. I mean, this has just been an awful, awful stock for us. And this morning was no exception. You know, we get this big gap up, we jump in right at the beginning of the day and immediately collapses down, 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 and we're down over $2,000 in Shake Shack. I'm not happy with that. And we had about two or three more of these look just like that, you know, and they ended up down a couple thousand dollars. So that's why we're negative nearly $10,000 on our open trade equity. So um, technically we made some profits today. I didn't like the day at all. I am hopeful that tomorrow we're going to see better. Anyway, this is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you all tomorrow on Thursday.